Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here. I'm back with a brand new Silver Arena guide for 09 update. Because the Silver Arena changed just a little bit. Uh, it's round 5 that changed. But I also had requests in the past to show other roles for Silver Arena. Most of my old guides, I had the same roles all the time. So in this guide, I do the Decimators role. So it's going to be different. And if you guys are new to the game or new to the Arena, uh, make sure you watch my older guides also. It's uh, not going to hurt to have more information. But we're gonna go through round by one. Once again, start of the arena, you pick up the secondary ammo. We're gonna use uh, secondary a lot. See here, I throw my AM bomb right at the start. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the trash spot here, uh, just at the jump pad. I'm just gonna kill the Drez that spawn. And my other two partners, you see them. Uh, this is the, the main spawn. You kill the elites and the, the snipers and stuff. But my job here is to take out the trash mobs. Sometimes I try to help with the snipers at the same time. So I want to talk arena uh, bomb strategy. If you use AM bomb or not, uh, there's two things you can do. But if you do the decimator spawn like I do, you kind of want your AM bomb to be ready right at the start of round three and start of round five. So if you want your AM bomb ready at the start of round three, you have to get rid of it right at the start of round one because if you use it later, any like even a few seconds after the start of round one, it is not gonna be ready for round three if you run fast. And we're pretty fast, you're gonna see. This is a 10 minute run, by the way. Uh, but yeah, it's already the end of round one. Like, if you see my old guides, nothing changed in round one. So two guys at the first spawn, as soon as you're done taking out the, um, the blade guys, the twin blades, uh, you go on the other side, get rid of the stuff. So this is gonna be round two, and once again, I take the, the blinkers roll this time, and my other two friends are right on my right side, same spot as round one, they're gonna take out the elite. So here I got one, uh, it's a crusher, and a bunch of blinkers. It's pretty straightforward. Try to get rid of the crusher right of the, uh, at the start if you can. Uh, you get free crit shots in the back. And as always, this is how you play arena, guys. It's back to the wall, and shoot the enemies in the back as they spawn. It's where you get the best uh, value, I guess. You get the most damage without having to move around. Once again, you don't go in the middle. You don't run around the arena. You stay at your spot. You kill enemies at, as they spawn. So the trick here is I get rid of the blinkers, blinkers, blinkers. And when I'm done with the blinkers, I'm the closest guy to the corner. So I'm going to run to the corner for the next wave. My guys are almost done at the same time, so they're already killing the, um, the Razor Blade that spawn after the Blinker. I'm running to the corner. So I know my friends are right behind me, so I'm going to let some guys go. Usually one player will go straight to the corner. Of course, you want to shoot at the same time, but I saw Lord Wolf uh, get past me, so I let him go in the corner. But it's, again, one in front, one in the back. So the, the Torment, they will turn their back on me or they will turn their back on my uh, my teammate so no matter what someone's getting free crit shots and we're already done with round two it is very fast if you get good gear uh, good weapons lots of damage we're gonna talk about the builds a little later but look at my am bomb cooldown okay round three is about to start and my am bomb is just about ready for the start of the round so if i didn't use my am bomb at the start very start of round one it was not gonna be ready for start of round three so you might as well not use it at all but like some guys say it's a waste to throw am bomb at round one might as well just throw it it's gonna be faster now this is decimator spawn round three one guy in the middle this is the only time you go in the middle is to get rid of the void color and one guy on my left to get rid of the dreads or the trash so decimators i want the am bomb right at the start it's gonna take two waves of trash mobs and i'm shooting the decimators in the back as they spawn and look how fast they die I'm already done. It's going to be the spiders now. But also there's a shielder guy that's going to spawn. This is also one you want to kill, right? Like it's already dead. Uh, you can rewind if you want and pause. 
You want to get rid of this uh, shielder guy. Uh, Lord Wolf, once he was done with the snipers, he goes to the corner. And Descendant was on my left, getting rid of the trash. Once he's done with the fire spitter, he goes to the corner also. I'm going to get closer to this, the corner when I finish the spiders. As soon as I'm done with the spiders, turn in the corner. Everyone in the corner, get rid of everything fast. Uh, again, the, if you watch my older guides, the same strategy applies. Ignore the yellow guy, focus on the gray trash, and at the end you kill the yellow guy. Because if you kill the yellow dudes, more will spawn. They have more HP, so you're wasting more time, you're wasting more bullets. So if you just let it go, focus on the gray enemies and kill the yellow at the end, it's more efficient. Round 4 about to start. My two partners are back to the same spawn for round, round 1 and round 2. And I'm back at the decimator spawn. Same thing, killing the decimators in the back as they spawn is super fast. You get crit damage, uh, you get extra damage to the back if you're using the agility build. But I don't have anything else. My AM bomb is not ready, so you have to stay alive just a little bit at the start. And then you're gonna use, I like to use a uh, med kit now in arena. You could go supercharger if you want. But you're gonna take a lot of damage when you do the decimators, okay? So that's why I like the 12 agility or 13 agility and 7 survival. I like the explosion resistance because you take a lot of damage uh, from the decimator explosions. And sometimes a void color blast will hit you. So you're alone. So you want to survive because my guys are together at the other spawns. If they die, they will revive each other. If I die, they have to leave their spot to revive me. So it's very... Uh, like it's not efficient, it's, it's losing or wasting a lot of time. So once I'm done with the decimators, I come with my teammates and we're all three guys here uh, getting rid of the blinkers now and the red dudes will spawn the hammer hammer guys, red hammer. Um, and then again, efficiency, I'm waiting for him, he spawn, I shoot the back and when he's there and he's ready to hit me, I will go left because I know my buddy's on the right. So he's going to face me or my buddy. One of us is going to get the free shots in the back. Same thing for the other guys. Once you play as a team, when you see a, a tough enemy that you need a lot of ammo to kill, one guy will rush and go in the back. So he will turn and put his back to the, the uh, teammates, right? All right, now this is round five and this is different. From my older guides, round five, we used to go in the corner. Okay, someone would get rid of the void callers and the other two guys drones in the corner razor blade spawn the boss this is over guys now round five is round like round three one guy at the decimator i got my am bomb ready one three five right at the start so round five am bomb decimators low wolf in the middle get rid of the void callers and descendant on the left to get rid of the trash so this is gonna be pretty fast also i'm gonna get rid of the uh, the decimator sorry um, I didn't use my med kit here, just AM bomb and uh, shoot and it's already done. I think it's like three uh, decimator chargers. And then I'm gonna go, Lord Wolf is done with the void callers. So instead of coming to me, he's coming, he's going to descendant on the left side. And I'm done, I'm also going left side. So this is where you're gonna make the boss spawn. There's a lot of trash, okay? The drones will come to you because you're on the left now. And this is like round, maybe round three also. There's a decimator twin blades. So I don't know if it's exactly that, but we killed three decimator twin blades to make the fire spitter spawn right where I'm at, okay? And this is also the, the blade dancer spawn. So this is the decimator twin blade number two. And then I keep getting rid of trash, but you can also get rid of the, the elites on the left. And this is gonna be decimator twin blade number three. And look at that, as soon as he dies, you'll see the, the orange marker, fire spitter here, boom. I was waiting for it, get the, the shots in the back again, it's bit most damage you're gonna get that way. And Blade Dancer is gonna spawn right there. So if you're ready for it, you can do some damage in the back of the Blade Dancer right as he spawned. Here, unfortunately, we messed up. Uh, Lord Wolf got one-shotted by the, the, the Twin Blade, but he's almost like halfway dead, right? So we did a lot of damage still. Uh, Regis also trying to get damage on us, but it's gonna be a super fast kill. Blade Dancer already dead. If I think if all three guys are waiting for him back to the wall, you can almost spawn kill the Blade Dancer. And then it's Regis, so he's uh, undamaged right now because the old strat when you do the corner things, 
Uh, some guys, one guy is already chipping at Regis and two guys go Blade Dancer. But this time we decided to go three guys on the Blade Dancer, just get rid of it and then focus on Regis. So one guy go on the other side. Because Regis, you do like a sandwich, okay? This is not new. You know how it works. You always want someone in the back and the other two guys in the front. And then he's going to turn. It's going to be one in front, two in the back. Uh, I did move around a lot. You didn't see me fight Regis much. I was trying to clear the trash. My other two buddies, they have damage builds, okay? So if you play with the same guys always, you might want to do something like that. One tanky build for the decimator spawns and two damage dealers for the elite spawns. Like elite killers... Uh, if you go, I, th I think it's 12, yeah it is, 12 combat and 8 agility, 0 survival. You get damage to elites and you get the Lord of War. So 25% damage to elites and 25% with the secondary. These two guys are using the snipers. You get insane numbers. It's a lot of damage. You, like, you kill elites fast and you're going to have a lot of elites to kill round 1, 2 and 4. So it definitely is going to help clearing the stuff faster and you can see the stats now it's a 10 minute run and we messed up a little bit here and there i only did i think i did less than five silver arenas since the update so we do more damage now we are weaker we don't have auto heal anymore uh and some guys use low survival builds but we deal more damage we get crit on the agility build now we get f a better fight for your life we get uh the back damage also for for cheap and uh, the combat builds seems like they're doing uh, insane damage. It's not even funny. But yeah, more squishy. I think Silver Arena is going to be done under 8 minutes soon, I guess. Like, if people play together a lot and get all the little things down, uh, pretty sure you can insta-kill Blade Dancer. You can get rid of Regis really fast if you don't get Swarm like I was. Uh, I didn't even shoot Regis, so... Yeah, guys, uh, that is it for the new Silver Arena guide. I know it was fast. I had so much things to say, but like I said, it's not for new players. I, I'm thinking that you probably saw my older guides. There's not a lot of changes, but it's the round five you have to get down. Everything else is, is old news. And once again, if you don't want to learn Silver Arena and you want to mess around and have fun, it's a fun place to be. There's good loot and stuff, but... You should take time to learn it, guys. It's really worth it. And you're gonna... I think it's more fun like that. And you're gonna get it down faster. You're gonna get more loot. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the new Silver Arena guide. Leave me a comment below. And again, shout out to Lord Wolf and Descendant for the runs. Uh, amazing stuff, guys. Lots of damage. So I'm out for now. Don't forget to subscribe for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. Thank you.